Hey guys, today I want to share how to develop, build, and debug a Linux program with CLion on a non-Linux platform such as a Mac or Windows with Docker. So this will be useful when you want to develop a Linux program with CLion for work or school, but either you don't have or you don't want to use a Linux system for development. So here I have a simple CLion project open on my Mac. The target system for this project is Linux. You can see this red squiggly line here under the include statement because this header file is specific to Linux and is not available on Mac or Windows. If I try to build this on my Mac, this will fail because the header file can't be found. In order to build this program, we need to run it through Docker. Here's my Docker file based on the Ubuntu image where I install necessary packages to build this simple program, such as compiler, CMake, and GDB. First, we need a Docker image on which the program can run. Currently, I don't have any Docker image yet, so let me build this Docker file and name it as Ubuntu CPP Dev Env. Before I configure CLion to use Docker, it's a good idea to make sure the Docker image has all the necessary packages to build and run the project. So I'm going to test build and run the project on Docker first. I'll start the container and mount the current project directory so that I can build the project inside the container. Now that I'm inside the container, let's see if I can build the project. Okay, so the build works just fine. So let me run the program, which is named as Linux app. Okay, it runs successfully, which prints out the uptime of the system. Now that we know that we can build and run the project on the Docker image, I can exit the container and go back to CLion to configure the project settings to use Docker. On a Mac, that would be Preferences under CLion menu, but for Windows, this would be Settings under File menu. Select Build, Execution, Deployment, and click Toolchains. Here we see the default toolchains on the system, which in my case is a Mac. Click on this plus button and select Docker. CLion has automatically detected the Docker image I just built here. For the container settings, I'll just leave it as is, but if you need to open up ports, for example, this is where you will have to specify the settings. Make sure all of these tool chains are automatically detected here. Okay, click apply and I'll select CMake from the left since this project uses CMake, but should be similar to other build methods as well. Here, select Docker as the tool chains and that's all. If I go back to the source code, I can see the red squiggly line has disappeared. That's because we are using the Docker tool chains rather than the system's default now. Let me build this project, which is successful, and I can run the program again, which prints out this uptime. I can also debug it. If I set up a breakpoint here and run debug, then it stops at the breakpoint and I can step out, examine variables, and also run a command just as I would normally do. All right, this is for today, and I'll see you in the next video.